One of the things that you might think is really great about living in the countryside in a great big house with a great big garden is that you've got a great big lawn. That is kind of true, but there is a downside. You've got to mow it in some way. Now, when we first got here, nobody had lived in the house for at least a year and a half, and prior to that we don't think they were doing much in the way of maintaining uh, the garden. The local farmer let his sheep into the garden to get rid of the majority of the lawn, which worked perfectly. It looked great. And then it started to grow in the spring, and the grass grew, and the grass grew, and the grass grew. And then the sheep came back and they took one look at it and went, don't fancy this grass, it's not as nice as the grass on the other side of that wall over there. So they climbed over the wall and they wandered off and they ate that grass instead. They would come back occasionally to, to leave deposits and they would also make sure that, you know, they came back at sort of ridiculously early times in the morning so that their little hooves made lots of noise on the decking, which... But never mind, that's part and parcel of living in the country and we, we like the sheep, they're nice. Other than the sheep, the only other thing that was doing anything to maintain the grass really were rabbits and me mowing the shorter bits. This bit here is slightly more than half an acre, which is the bit that's largely not been touched. We thought, oh, we'll, we'll have a go at it with a strimmer and we'll kind of keep on top of it once it's all strimmed down. And then I thought, well, that's all well and good, but you have to actually carry a strimmer. It's quite heavy and it vibrates a lot. So I thought, no, what I'll do is I will take the lawnmower, take the box off the back of it, which will mean that it's not going to get clogged up because that's basically what the box does. As soon as the box is in any way, shape or form getting to the point of being full, it all backs up into the mower, the mower slows down, and hey presto, that's what it stalls. If I can get the lawn mower to deal with this grass, once the height is dealt with, it will mean that we can just, every time we mow it, we take it down a little bit further, and we end up with a nice, I was going to say flat lawn. This ain't flat. The lawn undulates quite a lot, and the reason for that is, underneath this lawn, there is a terraced garden. Now this was built in the 16th century, and I can only assume it was, it was lovely. It's been covered over by the fact that up that way is a hillside, and this being Wales, it rains a lot, and when it rains the water comes down and it brings sediment with it. Now that sediment has covered over the beautiful walled garden and left us with this undulating meadow. I'm going to go and get the mower now. Every old country house comes with a series of barns, and these are ours, and they're interesting. And that's all I'm going to say about them. Let's not fool ourselves, this is not the biggest lawnmower in the world. And that's kind of okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tackle the rest of the lawn without a box on. I'm going to raise it up to as high as it'll go so it really doesn't have to struggle and I'm just going to whack as much of it down as I can. Well, there you go. That's, uh, that's the thing that killed it. Rain. They didn't forecast this. Unfortunately, rain and uh, lawnmowers don't mix. It's not that the lawnmower doesn't like being wet, because obviously, you know, it doesn't really care. The problem is the grass. As soon as you get the grass slightly wet, it suddenly becomes much heavier and much claggier inside the mower, and it just seizes it all up. So I'm afraid that's it for today. But there will be more mowing. That's a lot more mowing than, than, than there was before. So, you know, yay, go, go lawnmower crew, which is me.
and the lawnmower. Let's, let's not forget the lawnmower, the lovely, lovely lawnmower. If you like our videos, for whatever reason, maybe it's seeing me all wet, I don't know. Uh, but if you like our videos, please subscribe, like, share with your friends. You can support us on Patreon. Uh, there's all sorts of other things you'll find. There's a link in the, underneath to our website, which is somethingvloggy.uk. In there, you'll find all sorts of ways that you can support us, you can share our work with other people, and just, you know, get the word out there, because we love doing this. And the more people watch, the more videos we're gonna make. Because, you know, we're just, we're easily, easily persuaded in that sense, I think, is, is the thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get dry. Oh yeah, I've got to put the lawnmower away. Always put your tools away.